All right, hello everyone. Uh, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to uh, change the color of a game object when pressing a button, just like that. Uh, this is in response to uh, Leo Jocker here, and decided I had a few minutes before our work, so I was gonna take a look at it real quick. And I basically, all I did was I'll show you. What I copied, I copied um, from the original code from change color of a game object when clicking on it, and that source code is in here in my description there, so you can get it from there. So I basically copied uh, this first section here, this materials, the render, the index, and and then I just created a new uh, function and I copied everything from inside the mouse down function here and I got rid of this if statement for the input dot guess get mouse button down so I got rid of that and I just kept everything else but I'll show you guys real quick how to do this so if you go to so you don't have any buttons okay so right click in your hierarchy UI go to button and then what you're gonna do from there is we'll create an empty so right click in your hierarchy again create an empty and we're just gonna call this the script holder and then we're gonna create our script here in the scripts folder C sharp, change color button. All right, open that up, and I'll just get rid of all of this here. And so I'm just going to copy all this and paste it in. I'll be posting this on my blog, so you guys will be able to just do the same if you wish to do so. I'll go over it a little bit here though shortly. So you got the materials array. And so I guess first I'll uh show you guys what you have to do with the script. So after you create the script, you have to drag that script oop, onto your empty object that you created. And then you go to your button, scroll down to the on click, press the plus sign. This little area pops up here so drag your script holder into that uh, none object there and then click on this no function bar go down to your class and then go down to your function in the script so that button pressed is this function here button pressed okay and then so what you're gonna do after that is in your script holder you're gonna go to your materials that's gonna be what this materials array is and so we're gonna set the size here to three and then choose a couple different colors here And then, so what are we rendering? Uh, so render, rend, this is that, this is where you put in your object. So, let's see here. Drag this one in. And, let me see, where is this button here? Move that down and over I think it's that one I'll save that and it should work now so I'm gonna run it here a minute let me press the button and it changes colors so hopefully that uh, helps you guys out and be sure to like and subscribe and don't forget that script will be on my blog so you'll be able to just copy and paste it 
and the link will be in the description for you. So, alright, thanks guys for watching.